All right, I wanted to throw an alternate idea for you. So depending on what your object is, especially if you don't have to have the edges. So like here, I just have the left and the right of the banana that I painted in. So this is the extra piece that I painted in here. Um, but I was able to leave all the rest of it out. I think you can get a super cool effect. Now you wouldn't use a background for this. You'd just add a color fill layer. So I've got kind of a yellow layer here. Um, but what we would do would be to turn everything else into a smart object add a shadow, blur it, and flip it around. Super easy. So you might just try both and see what you like better. I'm going to select all three of these layers and convert them to a smart object so it's one layer. So this is the whole thing, right? All the things. All right, then I'm going to add a drop shadow using FX. So click on drop shadow and pick a drop shadow. This part doesn't really matter too much because you're going to move it around anyways. That's fine. I'm going to hit OK. Um, so there's my drop shadow. Now we're going to move our drop shadow to its own layer, right? Right click the drop shadow in the layers panel and go to create layer. Once you have done that and pressed OK, it's now on its own layer. So we can transform that drop shadow by pressing Control and T. And in the new version of Photoshop, if you start to pull, it makes it smaller. So you're going to hold down Shift while you pull so that you can smash this puppy down. And we're gonna wanna flip it over. So I'm going to keep holding down shift and go past the edges of the box to flip it around. There we go. See, now it's like a reflection on the ground. The last step here, which I think kinda adds a little bit of flavor to the deal, is to add a filter to blur that shadow. So I'm gonna right click this layer and convert to smart object so that I can add a non-destructive smart filter. Go to the filter menu go to blur and Gaussian blur. And that's really all you have to do. You can choose whatever radius amount that you want. You kind of want it to have a little bit of the edges so you can tell what it is. And then bam, check that out. Super easy. Probably, I don't know, I feel like this goes a little too tall. Well, yeah, maybe not. See, I might crop a little bit off of the top of this document uh, just to kind of get rid of some of that extra space. But um, there you go. And then again, you can always move um, around or um, change that shadow by pressing Control T and holding Shift, right? So holding Shift to let you stretch it out. Okay, when I hit OK, the filter will be reapplied. And that's it. Super easy.